Hi, and welcome to the uh, first episode of Drone Video Editing with Peter Petermann, that's me. Um, today I'm going to talk with you about uh, creating a workflow to get from, well, having the footage to having a first uh, cut of the uh, video. Um, I think everyone profits from having a bit of structure in how they work with the video, otherwise you end up at least I did when I started. Um, you end up in the situation where you, well, you drag in some footage and then you you work on the details and it doesn't really work out, so yeah, I've wasted a lot of time and so on. So I've come up with this basic workflow that's oriented a bit on a uh, more classic video creation workflow, uh, which is basically we start with. Um, getting all the footage that we want to use and all other source material into our editor. Um, then we go through and we actually isolate what footage we want to use. Uh, we rename that then we create a rough cut. We add some sound and then we render. Now, uh, in later episodes, we will add more things to this workflow but this should get you quite far in creating your first few videos. So I've uh, moved all my source material into uh, Adobe Premiere, which is the tool that I'm using. So if you have a look at this, you can see I've sorted it a bit by moving everything that's source material into its own bin and then creating a bin for the sound where I put the music that I want to use for this video. Um, obviously, you don't have to do it this way. Um, there are many, many, many other ways how you can organize your source material. Uh, you have to find something that works for you. But I suggest the first thing that you do is to sort the source material in its own bin away from the, the pieces that you will get out to actually work with. So. That was the first thing. We organized our source material. We, we dragged it into the uh, editor. Um, then step two. Second step, we're going to actually look at our source material. Let's start with the first file. Uh, you can see I've already set some in and out points. Because this is not the first take of this video, but... Um, so basically, I've decided to go with a very, very short idea for the video. I want to have the drone launch, uh, to fly it a bit upward, to, to make show that it is flying, and then just um, basically turn around and uh, show me as the point of interest. Um, when, when you create a video, you should always have a bit of a plan on what you want to do, rather than just throwing in and trying out because as much fun as the later can be it usually doesn't really get you anywhere it will just make you frustrated over the long editing process because when you start throwing away pieces after editing for half a day it, it just is no fun so it also helps if you already know what kind of story you want to do in your video uh, when you when you go out and fly because that will help you to get the exact shots that you need. That's something I didn't do with this video. Um, I've actually used this source material for a different video already, um, but I figure that I can make the small story that I was talking about happen quite easily with this. So the first part is um, the lift off. Uh, you can see it's a snowy scene. It's lifting up with snow. There's a few snowflakes flying around in there. Very nice. So let's drag this down and rename it. it. It really helps to rename this to things that you can recognize. Again, naming completely personal thing, how you name the things, but it should be something that helps you to find the right pieces. Uh, with, with the video that I'm now making that is going to have three pieces, it's really not an issue. But as soon as you create a bit longer videos uh, out of many pieces, 
you will experience that it will become increasingly hard to find the piece that you're looking for if you don't name them properly. So I suggest you name them properly. So let's see if in this video there is anything else I want to use. Well, that, that looks nice, but it's not really useful for what I want to do. So let's let's move on to the next one. And the thing is, if you know your footage like I do in this case, you, you don't have, probably don't have to go through it all. But um, if you have just recorded it, you're usually not that familiar. So it really helps to to go through, scrub it a bit forward, backward till you have the exact scene that you want. Make sure that when you record that you um, start a bit earlier and stop a bit later compared to uh, what you actually want from the scene. So if you, if you, if you look here at the, uh, at the area where I'm working right now, then you can see that I start, have a few seconds right before it moves forward, but I can set my in point right after the movement starts. And I'm, I, I have a, a bit of movement later before it goes, switches to the upward movement. So, I can, but I can go a bit earlier, set my out point here. That will make sure that the movement I have is smooth and doesn't do any weird movements in there that, that distract the uh, audience. And now I have my, uh, let's call this launch. Again, however you call it, needs to work for you. For me, lift off and launch could be exchanged, but since I know that lift off is the one where it really lifted off from the ground, launch will be good enough. Let's quickly have a look if there was something else that I wanted to use. Now I could use this landing, but then I, I really wanted to go more for something where I look at the point of interest, the point of interest in this case being myself. And uh, when I was off flying out, I tried the one of the intelligent flight modes here. So let's let's start maybe here. This walking scene. The drone follows me there a bit, and then I move the drone in front of me, which should make a nice ending shot. So again, drag it down, or you rename it. Um, this, in this case, I'm going to just name a point of interest. Doesn't really need to be, it's just, just a guideline to to figure out what is what. And now we can start creating our uh, rough cut by moving them in sequence into our timeline. This is the third step. Um, then the launch and the last one this is probably longer than we want but uh let's see uh we're now going to refine this next step basically um by adding the sound i've used this song before in the welcome to my channel and as you can see i kind of nailed uh, a specific moment here uh didn't really nail it um I know the sound is at this point having a bit of a calmer thing and then restarting, but that will make a nice cutoff for uh, where we are at. Adding a default transition. Um, again, I, I know already what to do here because I know this footage quite well. So then I adjust the length a bit and now I already have a simple drone video. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay now. From the beginning. Hit it, boys. So I guess this is the the moment where I'm going to conclude this video. Um, in next week, uh, well, I don't know if it's next week, but in the next episode, 
uh, we're going to take this video and we're going to start a refinement process make it a bit nicer make it a bit more fitting than this uh, and then in, in subsequent videos we're going to look into what else we can do to make videos better if you like this if you like this video if you want to see more of the videos please do all those nice things uh, like and subscribe and the most important one share this video with your friends with your family with your neighbors with with everyone you can think of um, because if one thing keeps me motivated making this videos that is seeing the views counter go up <laughs> so uh, have a nice day and see you soon